The unicorn is a legendary creature that has been described since antiquity as a beast with a single large pointed sprawling horn projecting from its forehead. The unicorn was depicted in ancient seals of the Indus Valley civilization and was mentioned by the ancient Greeks in accounts of natural history by various writers, including Theseus, Strabo, Pliny the Younger, Alien, and Cosmos Indicoplestes. But are they real? If the footage we're about to show you can be trusted, maybe. From a unicorn spotted in England to one spotted in Africa, this is five scary times people found unicorns on Earth. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. With that being said, let's begin. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Number 5. The English Unicorn. Let's start with something of a classic. Let's ease in with a well-known clip before we explore some of the rare ones we've got lined up for you. This is a curious little clip that apparently shows a real unicorn grazing in a field in England. Rather frustratingly, it is not known where this footage was taken. All details regarding this clip are annoyingly scarce, but it's been kicking around YouTube for a while now, and it's been whipping up a lot of chatter and theories ever since. In the distance, you can see what looks like two horses grazing in a field of grass, one brown and one white. However, it becomes obvious that the white horse has a rather unique selling point not present on the brown horse. And what's that USP, you ask? A great big horn sticking out of his head. That's no horse. That's a unicorn. Or, I mean, it could just be a horse with an ice cream cone on his head. But let's just say it's a unicorn. For centuries, man has been describing a mythical beast with a single, large horn. The ancient Greeks wrote about a legendary animal that could only be tamed by a virgin. Their horns were said to have healing properties and could turn poison into drinkable water. Unicorns are also referenced in the Bible as reams, mystical creatures featuring one spiraled horn. It's written that King David rode a unicorn to heaven to avoid the threat of a lion. Unicorn enthusiasts all around the world are rejoicing, claiming that this is the first hard evidence that their favorite beast of legend is actually real. Could this really be a glimpse of the fabled unicorn? Or like we suggested, could it be a horse with an ice cream cone on its head? Let us know what you guys think in the comments section below. Now it's time for the star topic. Now, when we first began considering putting together a video about unicorn sightings, we reached out across all social media sites to see if anybody out there had any photos or footage worth discussing. To be honest, pretty much everything we were sent wasn't worth talking about, except this photo that is. Take a look and let us know what you think. The photo was sent to us by somebody we spoke to on Reset Era, who says she snapped this photo herself when exploring the woods behind the back of her house in Ireland in the early hours of the morning. Do you think that's genuine? Let us know what you think. Comment down below with the hashtag star topic, and we will pin the comment that best explains what is being shown on this image. Let's move on to the next one. Number four, Lancelot. In the 1980s, the Ringling Brothers Circus claimed they had a real, live unicorn. A unicorn they had named, presumably because of a horn similarity to a sword, Lancelot. In 1984, Lancelot was unveiled to the world during a performance at Madison Square Garden, walking out to the theme tune from Rocky. Yes, really. Naturally, the world immediately fell in love with Lancelot. But it's safe to say, his very existence raised an awful lot of questions. Namely, how does he exist? And, but I thought unicorns don't exist. Although many humans are entranced by the idea of unicorns, in modern times, most people don't believe they are real. They are generally accepted to being a fiction. Even many people who are obsessed with the idea of proving the existence of monsters and cryptids cast unicorns aside as fantasy. However, when Lancelot debuted as part of the circus in the 1980s, Ringling Brothers Vice President Alan Bloom admittedly claimed that Lancelot was both authentic and magical. As part of his spin, Bloom claimed that Lancelot, like all unicorns, was magically ageless, meaning it was impossible to tell how old Lancelot truly was. However, the ASPCA wasn't buying Bloom's tail. They were worried that Lancelot was nothing but an ordinary horse, and Bloom had merely fastened an ornament horn onto his head, which could be seriously hurting the poor animal. To prove naysayers wrong, Ringling had Lancelot's head x-rayed. Ready for shock? Amazingly enough, the results showed that the horn was actually part of Lancelot's skull. There was nothing tying it to his head. So, did this mean unicorns really exist? As crazy as this sounds, it turns out that, technically speaking, Lancelot was a real unicorn, but maybe not in the sense that we think of unicorns. Lancelot was not an ageless mythical creature with magical powers. So, what was he? Lancelot was no horse. Lancelot was a goat, whose horns had been bound when he was a kid. This means that as he grew, his bound horns fused over time into one horn. So while he was a unicorn in the sense that he was a horse-like creature with one giant horn in the center of his head, he was a unicorn-like creature who had been unnaturally created by human intervention. This process of creating a sort of real, sort of not real unicorn was pioneered by a biologist from the 1930s called Franklin Dover. 
he had discovered this clumsy approach to surgery when experimenting on a goat kid that was less than a week old. At that young stage of the goat's development, the horns are still part of the baby goat's skin and are not yet connected to the skull. Stitching the two horns together toward the center of the head forces them to grow together as a single horn. Number three, Maryland Unicorn. Take a look at this footage from a Maryland festival. It seems to show a genuine unicorn. I mean, it's much more likely that it's just a pony that's been dressed up, but come on, I'm trying my best. Number two, 2009 footage. This minute of footage was dumped on YouTube back in 2009 on a curiously small YouTube channel. It's filmed by a young woman who seems to be tending to a group of small unicorns, happily feeding them. Now, sure, these are not the unicorns of myths and legends. These are the same unicorns we discussed earlier, the type that are created by essentially mutilating a goat. Technically speaking, if we're going to get hardcore about the meaning of the word, unicorn is just a one-horned animal, meaning these goats do qualify for our list. So, while you may be disappointed that we're not showing you actual evidence of actual unicorns in the way you might have thought of unicorns, what this borderline disturbing footage does do is further expand our story about Lancelot when it comes to the rather peculiar history of man-made unicorns. I thought Lancelot might be the only case, but no, there is more footage of man-made unicorns. So, we decided to deep dive to see if anybody else in the history of the world had ever experimented with making their own unicorn. And boy oh boy, did we open up a can of worms. Skulls of one-horned barwall rams were presented to the British Museum in 1845. At the time, it was suspected that the ram's single horns were a product of art rather than nature. And in 1911, this was confirmed by the Prime Minister of Nepal, Maharaja Sir Chandra Shrim Shirjang. Answering a query made by a British resident in Nepal, the Prime Minister reported that unicorns were artificially created by ram herders to be sold as curiosities. Dr. William Franklin Dove, a biologist at the University of Maine, was familiar with the story of the unicorn rams of Nepal but skeptical about the method reported as having been used to craft their single horns. To prove his own theories, he developed a simple surgical procedure akin to a skin graft to be humanely performed under local anesthetic. Dr. Dove was aware that horns do not actually grow from the skulls of animals, but rather are initially attached to the skin of the scalp as buds, which take root in the skull during the first weeks or months of the animal's life. By moving the unanchored horn buds and trimming them so that they fit together, each presenting a flattened surface to the other, Dove was able to produce single-horned rams, goats, and most famously, a unicorn bull. Dove reported that his unicorn bull became the leader of a herd and was very rarely challenged by other bulls, which is not surprising. Going by the newsreel footage above, a 1,500 pound quadruped with a foot long spike growing straight out of its head would be a fearsome enemy indeed. Dove also noted that the unicorn bull was seen to employ its unique horn as a tool, lifting fences, etc., and that it was normally of a notably placid temperament. This then brings us to the 1970s, when the neo-pagans got involved. During the late 1970s, a colorful pair of neo-pagans named, at that time, Otter and Morning Glory Gazelle, became inspired by Peter S. Beagle's fantasy novel, The Last Unicorn. When the gazelles later came across Dr. Dove's research reports, they adopted his methods, cultivating a group of male unicorn goats. Distinct from the mercenary intent of the Nepalese ram herders, or Dr. Dove's purely scientific interest in horn bud transplantations, the gazelles were primarily mystics and students of mythology. They theorized that since many of the medieval representations of mythological unicorns resembled goats more than horses, the transplant process may have actually been part of a lost art of experimental zoology. If so, its purpose might have been to create super goats, male goats of generally placid temperament, but more capable of defending themselves and their herds from predators than were most normal two-horned goats. That then brings us to the 1980s, when Lancelot the Unicorn strutted out on stage to the theme tune from Rocky. From there, the history of fake unicorns grinds to a halt. We couldn't find any more information. It felt safe to assume that the, for want of a better word, hobby of mutilating animals to create fake unicorns had gone out of vogue. And yet, here is this footage from 2009 showing us that there are some people still out there forcing animals like goats to grow wrong and become unicorns. Number one, the African unicorn. Unicorns are one of the most beloved mythical beasts, but that's exactly what they are, mythical. Pretty much every unicorn sighting just turns out to be a little bit of Photoshop or a horse with an ice cream cone on its head, but that doesn't stop the legend of unicorns from spreading. Africa even has its own unicorn mythology. In equatorial Africa lies a strip of land where one of the dreariest spots on earth is a compliment. 
as it implies there might be somewhere worse. It's always humid and hot, with huge storms happening nearly every day. The rugged, remote terrain is why Western scientists didn't start exploring and documenting the area until the late 19th century. Upon hearing legends of a unicorn in the region, reports of sightings caused quite a stir as they reached the press. First, it was described as a donkey, then a zebra. Other scientists claimed it was a giraffe. Still, others claimed that Africa must be an awesome place to find drugs growing wild. But, just like everything else on this list, the truth soon exposed itself. It was no unicorn. It was an entirely new species of animal that has since been called okapi. This partially striped animal is no African unicorn. It is actually a species of giraffe. In 1901, a carcass was finally sent for photography, which caused a media sensation at the time. And we can see why. It looks photoshopped. It looks like a joke. But this nocturnal animal is very real and finds food by foraging through the brush for greens. It even has a rather unique means of survival. A bit like a bullied child who uses cracking jokes as a defense mechanism on the playground, the okapi's main means of survival is apparently making the other animals laugh while it runs away. Do you think unicorns are real? And do you think it's acceptable to mutilate goats into looking like unicorns? Let us know. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen now. See you next time.